Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, Teflon Don returns to winning ways in a Mother's Day special after being out-muscled in last month's Prince Consort Stakes. Also at Kimanos Park, last season's most improved jockey, Radish Roman, rode a fast improving Justin Biden to victory in Saturday's feature event, the Yvonne Mattis Cup. And over in Toronto, Canada, veteran Jamaican jockey Shane Canterman Ellis was the star at Woodbine Racetrack where he rode home three winners from an eight race card on Friday. But first, our opening stories from Jamaica. Saturday's first trophy event was the Mother's Day special. Nine runners entered to go over a quick dash of a thousand meters straight. The six to five favorite, the four horse, magnificent force from the Philip Fiani barn. Next best bet was Jason Acosta's Teflon Don with the leading rider Tevin Foster in the saddle looking all focused and in business mode. A seemingly two horse contest on paper but with the field now reduced to seven starters with the two late non-runners from the two and seven draw, it's now a much open contest. The one horse Pope's Lady not getting much backing at odds of 24 to 1, Teflon Don and Magnificent Force from the three and four draw respectively both getting six to five betting odds. Panamanian jockey Joshua Osorio getting the mount on the five horse Miss Cherry at odds of 5 to 1. Prince Aman, Pineapple, and King's Crown were the other contenders completing the lineup. Brian Spuddy Rickman took them from the gates. They're off for the Mother's Day special. First start, Prince Aman gets one and begins to tack already toward this near side. King's Crown is racing there too. Pineapple looking for room in between them. Miss Cherry is toward the center. Pope's Lady is also traveling right with those front runners. Magnificent force ready to pounce toward the far side. Teflon Don. So it's a wide open. Several horses spread across the track and they race past the three and head now toward the final quarter. Pope's Lady is looking good. Miss Cherry is right there too. Magnificent Force trying to find space now does so. On the far side that's a Teflon Don. Nearest to us a King's Crown is also running well but it's still a wide open affair as they flash now inside the final furlong. They're into it now. Pope's Lady drifting to the stand fence meeting up with Miss Cherry. On the far side Magnificent Force now gets going so too. Teflon Don for across the track. Teflon Don and Magnificent Force on the far side. Pope's Lady nearest to us. They've gone by together it's close what a run from teflon don very sharp out of the starting gates and breaking wide of the pack early leading rider tevin foster in the pink and the white silts steers the three-year-old bay cold wide of the field and held on to the lead from about 800 meters out but had to dig deep to hold off the ever closing magnificent force who was beaten only by a short head a good win by the jockey tevin foster aboard the three-year-old bay cold bred by orange valley estates for owner Elizabeth DaCosta and trainer Jason DaCosta. Teflon Don at odds of 6-5 in the betting wins the Mother's Day special by a short head over Magnificent Force. The 24-1 and longest shot on the board Pope's Lady is third. The clock stopped at 1 minute 1 and 2 fifths of a second over the 5 furlongs course. A 10 race Saturday card at Caymanus Park which saw notable performances all around but stealing the limelight was informed jockey Radish Roman who had another impressive five winners from his 10 mounts saving his best ride for last in the day's feature event and curtain closer the Yvonne Mattis Cup. A fairly wide open contest as the betting was spread right across the board the one horse sunset silhouette at 72 the two importees classical orb and inspire force would break from gates two and three respectively. Rainsville All for Love and Justin Biden would break from boxes 4 to 6. Baby Like stomped the rhythm. Positive ID and the 99 to 1 bet Zion completed the field. In the cons box, Brian Rickman took them from the gate. They're off for the Ivan Mattis Cup. Classical Orb missed the break. Zion took off quickly on the far side, running fast in the early exchanges as they make their way now toward the mile. Justin Biden is on the go. Baby Light racing out wide. Stomp the Rhythm comes next with All for Love. Sunset Silhouette forms a line of three. Inspire Force is a long way off them as they leave the seven. A break back to Rainsville. Positive ID. Second from last and Classical Law brings up the rear. They're heading toward the final six furlongs. They're almost there and as Zion continues to lead by three parts of a length, Baby Like attacking early. Justin Biden in a handy spot in third. Sunset Silhouette creeping closer with Stomp the Rhythm, All for Love. 
A break of some two and a half lengths back to Inspire Force now making mild progress as they pass. The five Rainsville races next, a gap of five or six to Positive ID and Classical Orb, they vie for last. Approaching the final half mile in the Yvonne Mattis. They're coming into it now, and Justin Biden has taken that lead and slips away by a length and a tail. Baby Like staying well in second. Sunset Silhouette creeping closer all the while. Stomp the rhythm in a handy spot along with Inspire Force. Two lengths in behind that one. Rainsville the Grey, they leave the three. Old for Love is further back with positive ID. Classical Orb now asked to go, and a Zion fading to last. They've left the 5.16th. They're coming into the top of the lane, and it is a Justin Biden under a relaxed hole. Here is Stomp the Rhythm now kicking in down against the rail. Sunset Silhouette asked to charge up on the outside. These three almost abreast on the run to the furlong pole. Justin Biden under pressure from Stomp the Rhythm. Sunset Silhouette and Inspire Force asked to run on, along with the Great Rainsville. Justin Biden digging in under a ride and continues to fend them off. It's Justin Biden and Radish Rub on the Leaky Fox has five wins. Stomp the rhythm is second. Another brilliant ride and another five-timer by the Sneaky Fox. Radish Roman getting the win aboard the 11 to 1 outsider Justin Biden, taking the lead at the half mile and leaving the rest of the field in his dust straight to the finish line. A well-deserved return to the winner's enclosure for the five-year-old chestnut gelding out of the Lawrence Fremantle barn, toggling between first and second in his last four outings. The 11 to 1 outsider Justin Biden wins today's feature, beating the 5 to 2 favorite Stomp the Rhythm in second. Joseph Osorio put on a good ride for third aboard the Jason Acosta conditioned sunset silhouette. To Toronto, Canada now, where ace Jamaican rider and former president of the Jockeys Guild, Shane Ellis, was the headline of last Friday's eight race card at Woodbine Racetrack, winning three of his three mounts. Well, the 50-year-old Ellis was returning to Canada for the first time in 17 years, uh, having last rode all the way back in 2007. In what is seen as a bold move from the Jamaican circuit to a once-traveled path almost two decades ago, Veteran Jamaican jockey Shane Ellis has gotten off to a flying start at the Woodbine Racetrack in Toronto, Canada, landing three wins from as many mounts at last Friday's race meet. Seen here in the blue and white silks, Ellis aboard the 5-1 to one Lady XI trailed the top two horses for most of the race before putting in a final burst of pace from the top of the straight to clinch the win for his first on the day. His second win came in race number three where he also was first past the post with another 5-1 to one bet, Julie's missed. This was just before his hat-trick run aboard the 6-1 to one bet, Trebuchet. And now going up on the outside, here comes Trebuchet for Shane Ellis. And has he got a chance to get a hat-trick here? Ranges up to Hey Luigi. And over on the inside of the back is Jack. Hey Luigi and Trebuchet. And it is Shane Ellis on the outside. And Trebuchet, his hat-trick is there. What a grand day of riding. Confident ride by the 50-year-old Shane Ellis coming off the pace after recovering from a not-so-good start out of the gates and struggling at the back. A good win for jockey Shane Ellis and trainer Krista Cole getting the better of the 6-1 to bet. Hey Luigi in second and the one horse, Jack, who was in third. An elated Ellis had this to say about his hat-trick win in what was just his second outing this season, fresh off the back of an injury. He was nursing from back home in Jamaica. I got three rides, three mounts, and I won all three. And it was a good feeling knowing that I've been back and, and I've been doing good half, a, half, half an injury. And I've come back here and my second season back and it has been good. I, I can't complain. Everything's going good for me so far. There were no stakes wins for the Caribbean contingent this past weekend. Also, no racing in Barbados or Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, however, it is fitting to make mention of Shane Ellis's 100% win record at Woodbine on the day, winning three from his three mounts. And at Caymanus Park, jockey Radish Roman is riding a second five-timer this season, entering his name in the Jockeys' Championship conversation. We've been at the track covering the sport of Kings. Check us out again next week.